All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I'm driving a 1999 Spec Miata. Up front is a 1.8 liter inline four and down below is a five speed manual transmission. If you want to read more of my thoughts, head on over to carmarshall.com slash overdrive. And also don't forget to watch this video in 4K. But let's get back to the fact that it's a Spec Miata and we'll get into what that means in a little bit. But it is a 1.8 liter inline four that comes in the Miata from the factory. Now what's interesting about this motor is that you would think because it's a race car, it has an upgraded motor. And that's actually not the case. It actually has a restrictor plate on it, making it actually less powerful than from the factory. That is to ensure that all of the cars racing in the Spec Miata series are competitive, that there's no one that's so much faster than anyone else. That being said, the transmission is the factory transmission as well. The clutch is either a factory clutch or an Exeti factory replacement clutch. And that's gonna be the big thing about the Spec Miata is that most of it is either factory or factory replacement parts. So like I said, that restrictor plate, that is to decrease the amount of air that you can actually suck into the engine, thus letting everyone in the same racing class be competitive with one another. These cars race against first gen Miatas that are 1.6 liters and because of the smaller displacement those cars get smaller restrictor plates. They're less restricted so these cars will be competitive with those cars. Really easy to downshift. It's just like driving any Miata. Let's give her a little rip here. She's warm. Well, it's a whole lot of noise for not a whole lot of movement, but man, is it fun. The fact that I'm not doing a million miles an hour does not affect me at all. Now let's talk about the interior. In front of me, the gauges are the stock Miata gauges. Nothing really to see there. The dashboard is completely intact and the dashboard is still in the car, which is pretty important because that's actually one of the rules with spec Miatas, you have to keep the dashboard, the stock factory dashboard in the car. It has a driven steering wheel with NRG hub. The radio has been replaced with switches controlling the electrical fans and other systems in the car. The vents have been replaced by gauges. As you can tell, I'm in a bucket seat. There are harnesses, there is no longer a passenger seat. There is a full cage. Now, this Miata does have a hard top which is a requirement for spec Miata. You have to have a hard top. These little front windows have been replaced with little air inlets. But speaking of windows, if you can hear me yelling, all the wind noise, everything, there are no glass windows. There are no glass side windows. Oh, but man, this thing is genuinely fun. So let's talk about spec Miata itself, which actually I filmed the podcast with this car's owner, so if you're really interested in Spec Miata, go check out that podcast. I'll link it down below. Um, if it's not already posted on the channel, uh, it'll be up soon. But Spec Miata is a racing series focusing around the first and second gen of the Miata. This is a second gen Miata. And basically, it's a low budget racing series that basically all you need to do is buy a Mazda Miata, convert it, get it up to all the specifications, have a racing license, and then you get to go race. It's probably one of the cheapest ways to get into wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing. And although I say cheap, do not let cheap be a byword for meh. Don't let it be a byword for all right, because this is so much fun. Sure, the car is underpowered. It's stripped out. It's a race car, but you still have that Miata feel. The, the steering is so nimble. And you know, I always give people crap for modifying their exhaust, but really the, the louder exhaust makes the car feel more alive. You, you feel the vibrations, feel at one with the car. And it's, you know, this really does genuinely feel like a race car. So any part that you see on this car, whether it be the dashboard, the hard top, the wheels, anything like that, that part is on this car 
because it's it because it needs to be because it's required to be and any part that you see removed is because it's required to be removed that's the thing is that spec miatas are so the rules are so tight to keep it competitive but that's sort of the fun of it it, it really comes down to driver skill and not who can build the better miata because if it just came down to that it would really just be whoever has the most money wins and that's not what spec miatas are about spec miata is about getting into a racing series that doesn't cost you an arm and a leg that really anyone can get into it's competitive but it's not overly competitive there are cash prizes sometimes but not all the time and that really keeps the environment light and really it's just all about having fun and that's really what the stock miata was all about is the miata it was never ever supposed to be this supercar mazda never really set out to make a supercar with the miata they just set out to make a fun two-door roadster that was affordable and really that transfers over into spec miata it's a racing series that's just fun and affordable now you could spend up to thirty thousand dollars on a spec miata depending on if you build it yourself you know labor all of that stuff so yeah you can spend as much money as you really want the owner Tyler which thank you Tyler for letting me do this review I love this little thing so much speaking of which Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a complete blast driving Tyler's spec Miata. If you liked the video, please don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Thanks, guys.